Welcome back to our channel. It's me, Raquel from Succulents Box. Today we're going to talk about one of the worst nightmares for gardeners, slugs and snails. One basic technique to deal with slugs and snails is to create some deterrents to keep them away from your plant. Before using any deterrent, you'll need to remove all slugs and snails from your plants by hand. Don't forget to use rubber gloves or tongs. The best time to handpick snails and slugs is at night because they usually come out in the dark, especially after the rain. The first non-toxic deterrent for slugs and snails is an uneven and rough surface that they can move throughout. You can line up upturned eggshells around your plants to create a natural sharp barrier. Eggshells are entirely biodegradable and can improve soil quality. You can also use pine bark, mulch, or horticultural grits. The second deterrent that keeps slugs and snails away is another common thing that you can find in your kitchen, coffee grounds. The bitter taste can keep away slugs, but coffee grounds might be harmful to pets, so be careful. The third deterrent commonly used is copper tape, or screen. Copper reacts with the slime that snails and slugs secrete and cause a disruption similar to an electric shock in their nervous system. Copper tape is usually used to wrap around the edges of pots or planters, and copper screens are erected as a barrier with several inches buried below the surface of the soil. Another thing you can try is wool pellets that are sold in gardening stores. Wool absorbs the slime from the slugs and snails and repels them. When you create a barrier from wool pellets, remember to make at least four inches in both width and thickness. The last method to deter slugs and snails is to grow some plants that they hate around your succulents. The most useful plants are foxgloves, allium family, garlic, fennel, mint, especially the strong smelling types, chives, and geraniums. Now that you've got a few ways to deter slugs and snails, don't forget that those slimy little creatures are very persistent and deterrence may not always be effective. What else can you do? Well, let's invite to your garden some natural slug and snail predators. We recommend frogs and toads. If you have enough space, ducks or hedgehogs are also good options. The last method you can try is using slug and snail pellet baits readily available in gardening stores. Pellets use iron phosphate, which affects the calcium metabolism in the gut of the slugs and snails, causing them to stop eating and die within three to six days. They are not harmful to the soil or other animals, with an exception of earthworms. Slug pellets should be used with caution. To use them, sprinkle the pellets sparingly around your plants following instructions from manufacturers. Please ensure that you have an area enclosed to keep other wildlife such as hedgehogs away from the pellets. That's it for today's video everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, hit that subscribe button for more content. If you have any questions or recommendations, don't hesitate to leave your comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.